Esau will be no match for the Lord and the angels or when the Lord and the angels come. Anyway, giving all praise to you. by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem, Rukak, Wadash, I'm going to put this up raw. And I hope you can see it. You see, uh, four, what well, looks like four UAPs, or UFOs, UAPs, it stands for uh, Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon, which that's a relatively new term in the United States that they adopted that that uh, acronym from uh, Great Britain, England, instead of uh, calling them UFOs. Anyway, this uh, video was shown to me and talked about yesterday at the camp. And in this video, this is in Afga Afghanistan. So there's things happening in Afghanistan. There was a reason why um, the U.S. had and other other sovereign troops in Afghan since really 2001. They say 2003. It was really like 2001. And uh, the current uh, president of the corporate U.S., um, Joe Biden, has get, given the orders to pull out the troops so the troops are being pulled out. And they tried that before. And they, you know, they, they uh, brought the, the troops back in. Anyway, um, this is in Af Afghanistan. And uh, I'm just going to let you see it. These four UAPs, I'll call them, which we believe strongly that they're um, the angels of the Lord. And these uh, chariots, UFOs, UAPs, whatever you want to call them, they're mentioned all throughout, uh, all throughout the scriptures. Uh, one scripture that comes to mind, uh, Isaiah the sixth chapter, when you read that from the first verse, it speaks about the Lord coming down to Isaiah. And um, it was an actual ship, it was a gigantic ship, which Esau would call the mother ship, we'll call it the father ship. And out of the ship came uh, seraphims. Now, seraphims are, do, does not translate into the word angel. Cherubims, you can use the word cherubims. Cherubims loosely translated meaning mighty ones. But uh, seraphims, um, me, when you look, look that word up, it means uh, fiery serpents. Or loosely translated fiery flying serpents. When you go to Isaiah, the 14th chapter, the seraphims are actually missiles. But in Isaiah the 6th chapter, there are shuttle ships that came from the big father ship. Now I taught that years ago at One West when I was brought to council on it. Then they told me that I was High Priest Arya, I was High Priest Shai, I believe it was High Priest Shah. Most of the High Priests were there and they brought me like... The school, the, the main school at One West, you had a back hallway. So when you had them emergency councils, they would bring me all the way to the back back hallway um, for the ones of you that, you know, went to, uh, was a part of the school back then. And they would kind of circle you and they would put the fingers in your face and curse you out. And uh, Shia was the main one. He said, look, brother, you're going off. And um, I was still young, but... I stood my ground. I said, um, I said, uh, because Yeshia was the one with, with the biggest mouth. You know, he was known for that. Shia was cool, cool brother. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Great speaker. You know, but uh, I, I've been saying that, he's, that he fell, fall, fell off because he turned his back 
on the plow. He's not out there on the highways and the byways. But I remember him well, you know, cool with him. Anyway, although he might think I, I can't stand him, like, nah, nah, man, it's it's it's, it's business, <laughs> not personal, you know. If I ran into General Yohanna, I wouldn't look at him. I'll just I'll say, hey, Shalom, what's happening, man? And, you know, we'll talk, and I'll, I'll probably ask him, why'd you sell out? <laughs> you know, so it's no big deal. But anyway, they challenged me on that, and I stood my ground. I said, what does the word seraphim mean? And Yeshai jumped up and said, it means an angel. I said, nope, it goes deeper than that. Um... And I said, I said, see, you got to know your words, cause they, I threw it right back on them. And I said, it doesn't mean that, man. And I said, if you was on Ted Koppel's show, you, you'd be. Ted Koppel had that show, uh, the nightly news show. I said, if, and we used to say that. I said, if you was on Ted Koppel's show, and he asked you that, you'd be, you'd be stumped. <laughs> and so I explained everything. And I forget what happened after that. You know, but um, I stood my ground and I was correct. The, when you read Isaiah, and I'm not going to read it. Isaiah, somebody else could do a video and break down Isaiah. The sixth chapter is a short chapter. Um, it's talking about a gigantic ship that our, our Lord was in. And there were angels flying in what Esau would identify as uh, shuttle ships. So these would be these ships could have come in out of a, a strong, a, a bigger ship, a father ship as we call it. But they're sitting there in the skies, in the sky. And, and if you look closely, you'll, uh, you'll uh, see some molten, which look like molten metal coming out of the uh, ship, dripping out of the ship's. It's almost it almost look like they're going in going to the bathroom. So anyway, I'm gonna let you see it, and um, they shoot uh, uh, missiles at it, and uh, it doesn't phase these ships. So you know, Esau, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna encounter the 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 power, the awesome power of the Most High's army, led by Yahweh Shai, the second in command, being. Michael the Archangel, which is um, uh, the time of Jacob's trouble. There's only one time of Jacob's trouble, and it, we haven't experienced it yet. But um, they're just playing with you. They're just showing you that you are no match at all. One one expert with this whole UFO thing said uh, that the uh, the technology of these ships are anywhere from 100 to a thousand years beyond our technology so their technology is far far more superior than what Esau the power that he possesses anyway let me let you watch this do you see it I hope you can see it you see the ships it's almost like they're going to the bathroom. They're spewing out what looks to be a uh, liquid metal. And Esau's got, you know, got them in, you know, in their sights, so to speak. You see that? Now they shoot. They shoot what Esau does. Well, let's shoot at it. They shoot at it with a missile, and it doesn't phase, it does not phase these ships. You know, you just knew you were going to make it disappear from out the sky. And they're just dead. It, it doesn't move. Esau, you're in trouble, man. Scriptures say, scripture say there was no, uh, Revelation 12, there was no place found in, in heaven. So you're going to be wiped out. In one video I did, I said the angels are going to decimate. You're going to be decimated. Now, I was wrong on that because decimated means uh, one, at, one out of every ten. 
they're going to be annihilated. They're going to be wiped out of the heavens. So this is just the, the, the Lord, the Most High, showing you the power that you're going to have to deal with. And you can't deal with that power. Like I said, the Edomites said, their technology is uh, far superior, uh, up to a thousand years beyond. Now, we, you're talking about a thousand years, so let's go a thousand years. So we're talking about you're dealing with technology from uh, not 20 uh, 2000, the 2000s, we're talking about the 3000, we're talking about a, we're talking about a, we're talking about a, a hundred to a thousand years I mean this is scary man, not scary to us because we know and we, we believe we're going to be delivered uh, by um, the fathership. It says one ship. Now see, see, see it? It's a clo closer look. If you put UFOs in Afghanistan, you can see it. There's a bunch of videos on it. Did you see it? So it's not going to work out good for you. You're going to be told. When the Mosai come to destroy this place. This place is going to be destroyed. Anyway with that I'm going to say uh, Shalom. You know what let me bring this back. Let me bring this back. And bring it back even more. Let me let me come back here. See, they got hit with missiles, and it didn't. the The ships didn't budge. Ships didn't budge. The angels represent a man, a giant man, and. The U.S. forces or Esau's forces represent a bug. You know, a man can stomp a bug and think nothing about it. So you're you're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. I give it to you again. When there's a missile, nothing happens. Nothing happens. And I'm going to tell you something. Esau's military and these other militaries around the world, they're, they're shook. They're scared. They don't, they, don't, they don't have any answers. They know they're going to get their asses whipped. Pretty much like... Uh, Sonny Liston fought uh, Floyd, uh, uh, Floyd was it Floyd Patterson? I believe his name was. And um, Sonny Liston beat the beat the tar off his ass, man. I mean, beat him down. Foreman uh, fighting uh, uh, Joe Frazier. Tyson uh, fighting uh, Michael Spinks. Complete, completely demolished that that dude. So you see it, you see it. Let me let me get it, get it for you one more time. Get it for you one more time. The hell is it? Right there. These ships do not move. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say Shalom.